Soccer Television is brought to you by Locomote Systems, Transportation Specialists, The Havelock Country Jamboree, Canada's largest outdoor festival, Day and Ross, Owner Operator Driven. Welcome to Trucker Television, celebrating life on the road. This week on Trucker Television, Challenger Motor Freight Team. We're rolling down the corridor with Kevin and Locomote Systems. We're checking out a cool 1915 Sea Gray fire truck. But first, new owner operator Ashley from Laidlaw Tank LP. I drive to the conditions, right? Like I, I don't like being the last one anywhere. Like I'm the first one to say it, but and uh, and I don't like being late for anything. So it's always in the back of my mind. But when you see things like this, it kind of makes you wonder, right? You got a transport up there with four ways on. He's probably just being precautionary, but you never know, right? out of Sarnia all the time and that's probably one of the rougher roads to go down in the winter time and uh, you just gotta uh, every guy does their own thing right I, I have my own precautions I always give myself lots of space and uh, I drive the way the road wants you to drive you don't push yourself and uh, you don't use cruise control you don't jake you don't you don't uh, drive beyond your means. If you can't drive in the weather, don't. If you, you're nervous, slow down. That's it. Don't listen to the CB. Don't listen to super truckers. You do what you're comfortable with, right? And uh, you know, you'll as you drive. Like when I first started driving in the wintertime, I was nervous. Like it's you're not sitting on a light. Uh, a cheap piece of equipment, right? Well, you feel safe in a truck, but it's still there's a lot of money, there's a lot of a lot of variables, right? So you just you're nervous. There's no way about putting it when you're new, right? Nowadays, like you're a little more comfortable, you know what to watch for. You're always watching the distance, watching the road conditions, spray off tires brake lights, what your truck's doing, is it slipping, is it moving sideways, what's it, you know, it happens. I've I've been tired just driving down the road all by myself and the truck just go, wow, and they'll be like, okay, and then it does it again, and you're like, that's not good, and you know, it's, the tires are just sitting there spinning on the road doing 100 kilometers an hour, you know, you don't hit the brakes, you don't panic, you just... You drive the truck, and that's the way you do it. It's the weather, it's Canada conditions, right? And uh, it's when you panic and you get out of your element that things go wrong. So you just gotta keep calm and truck on. <laughs> Another nice thing about being on a board like the ingredient on board, you know, some of the guys don't say nothing on CB, but you know, you learn, you know, who, who's 
who's verbal, who will tell you if there's a lineup, if there's an accident. Uh, and there's lots of guys. There's, there's, I think there's over 20 guys that, for laid law guys that run that ingredient on board. So you always have a heads up on, hey, there's three or four trucks there, grab a coffee or, you know, same as the propane, the guys will, you're driving down the road, they'll tell you, hey, uh, we got a lineup. <laughs> National TV. Tour beautiful Kent County. Come ride or visit for a great cause. The first annual Spiker TV Victorian Order of Nurses Poker Run. Laidlaw Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators. Competitive fuel surcharge program. Base plates, border crossings, and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. It's the number one uh, training facility for motorcycle mechanics in Canada. The course here is amazing. The teachers are amazing. This is where it's at. Welding techniques. Training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Looking for a new opportunity? Fleetway Transport is now hiring company drivers and owner operators for flatbed and heavy haul. Join the Fleetway family. Apply today at fleetwaytransport.com. Call RS2000. Saving Ontario truckers time and money. Call RS2000. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Trucker Television, by truckers, for truckers. Celebrating life on the road. Trucker Television, advertising. Speaking to truckers like no other. Oh yeah, always remember, watch for the brake checks. Welcome to Biker TV, by bikers, for bikers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. If you're at all interested in any type of training regarding motorcycles, I don't think there's a better place in the world. We're Canada's number one motorcycle trainers. National Truck League partners with the trucking industry to protect their trucks, their teams, and their profits. See if I can start the 15 and bring her out. You use these things so rarely that you got to always remember how on earth to start them. We got the 30 oil in these things, you see.
they're quite different in that you got the motor and then the pump and then uh, shaft drive through the pump and the differential and the transmission are in one unit and it goes across and you've got flat gears on the ends of that where, where your wheels would be and then that drives a chain bicycle big heavy bicycle chain to drive the big wheel at the back do pretty close to 40 miles an hour you know it's a uh, it's scary the next greatest thing with any of these old trucks uh, after getting them going is to get them to stop For the wheels to be cramped to the left as far as you can go, if you, if you have your hands on here, you go around to here. So you got about the same arc on the steering wheel as you got on, on your wheel that's, that steers on the ground. Oh. They hadn't figured out that if you just put more curves on those wow. gears in there, you, you didn't have to use so much of this. Eh? <laughs> and uh, so. They, they got that quite a bit better by 1930, like the, the uh, steering mechanism on the tiller truck is, is much better. But this one and that little 1924 that's in there, they both just like, eh, they're there. And if, if you're not moving, you can't move that wheel. This is it's the distributor, and that's the magneto. This is the timing advance, hey? So all, all these old things, uh, to re you, change the, you change the timing to reduce the compression so that your battery could roll the engine more easily. Mm -hmm. And uh, so once you get it started, then you roll that up there. This is, this is just the throttle. This is the choke here. And uh, this, this is the starter mechanism. The, and the, the gas pedal is in between these two. The shifter is regular over, back is low, to the middle, over, up is second. Oh. And then forward is from low is reverse. Eh? And you have to push that lever down in order to get into reverse. <laughs> This is a pump control, this is a pump control, and this is a pump control. You need all three of them. Uh, so this uh, operates the primer pump, which you need to fill that pump with, with water so that it'll pump. And then this puts it in gear. So I've, I've pumped with it twice since I've owned it. So, And uh, when we went to Frank, Frankenmuth to pump with it, we hooked it all up to the water and we couldn't get it to prime, couldn't get it to prime, couldn't get it to prime. So the guy that I bought it from was there and he came along and he was fiddling with it and we couldn't get it to prime. And uh, the guy who did the engine work on it for him, he came along and he took a hammer and he whacked that with a hammer because this wasn't quite tight and so it was, it was sucking in air there all the time. And boom, we got water right away quick. So it was fun. We take people that want to get into the industry and we spend 15 weeks with them and we prepare them to work in, a, in an authorized Harley-Davidson dealership as a technician. Harley-Davidson training. The sky's the limit. 
Trucker Television, by truckers, for truckers. Celebrating life on the road. Trucker Television Advertising, speaking to truckers like no other. Oh yeah, always remember, watch for the brake checks. Laidlock Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators. Competitive fuel surcharge program. Base plates, border crossings and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. Ontario Truck Driving School. Training for your future. Your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Ontario Truck Driving School. Dragon Jeans, what biker TV rides in. It's the number one uh, training facility for motorcycle mechanics in Canada. The course here is amazing. The teachers are amazing. This is where it's at. Call RS2000. Saving Ontario truckers time and money. Call RS2000. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. Looking for a new opportunity? Fleetway Transport is now hiring company drivers and owner operators for flatbed and heavy haul. Join the Fleetway family. Apply today at FleetwayTransport.com. Be on national TV. Tour beautiful Kent County. Come ride or visit for a great cause. The first annual Biker TV Victorian Order of Nurses Poker Run. Join Biker TV at The Rockin' Wheel Ride featuring the Sheepdogs, Daniel Wesley and Bob Noxious. The Rockin' Wheel Ride for spinal cord research. Reloaded at a long gate Quebec with the bar that's going to be converted into springs for trucks. The name of the company that we load out of is uh, ACR Mattel. And uh, I'm headed to Stratford, Ontario to deliver this load. seeing new things all the time. I love to drive night and day, um, meeting new people, customers, other drivers, just the experience in general of driving a truck. Yeah, Odessa's 11 kilometers, so yeah, we'll get off Odessa, I think. It's a, it's a family, it's not a big family, it's a small family. Everybody gets along, it's tight quarters. We work together, we help each other, never leave anybody astray. You know, if one of them is sitting on the side of the road, we stop and help each other. Anybody needs help or a question that's new, we help each other. Just it seems that everything gets done and we work a little smoother and better as a team, that's all. There goes one of 
one of our trucks beside us. I uh, had lots of comments on how the trucks look and people feel that it's not a company truck, they look more like a broker's truck. It's got every option you need. It's got satellite radio, it's got a GPS built in, um, it's got heated leather seats, everything's power. I got a fridge and microwave, TV, inverters. I got everything I need to live in the truck. I don't need anything else. In today's technology with GPS and stuff, and back then, I had to use maps. It was hard to follow if you didn't know your north, south, east, west direction. I have to uh, go back to Hamilton and uh, pick up another reload right away and then I will go to bed, get up in the morning and I will run right back down to Montreal, deliver my load in Montreal and then reload again right away and then I'll be able to go home for a night and start all over again Thursday morning. Thursday I'll be able to go back home. I'd recommend anybody to come to work at Locomo. As everybody knows, customers are number one. When we come back, transporting windmills with Challenger Motor Freight. Join Biker TV at The Rockin' Wheel Ride, featuring the Sheepdogs, Daniel Wesley and Bob Noxious. The Rockin' Wheel Ride for spinal cord research. Looking for a new opportunity? Fleetway Transport is now hiring company drivers and owner operators for flatbed and heavy haul. Join the Fleetway family. Apply today at FleetwayTransport.com. Welcome to Biker TV. Buy bikers for bikers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. Call RS2000. Saving Ontario truckers time and money. Call RS2000. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Advanced Welding Techniques. Training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Dragon Jeans. What biker TV rides in. It's the number one uh, training facility for motorcycle mechanics in Canada. The course here is amazing, the teachers are amazing, this is where it's at. Laidlock Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators, competitive fuel surcharge program, base plates, border crossings and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. 
Trucker Television. By truckers, for truckers. Celebrating life on the road. Trucker Television Advertising. Speaking to truckers like no other. Oh yeah, always remember, watch for the brake checks. We take people that want to get into the industry and we spend 15 weeks with them and we prepare them to work in, in an authorized Harley-Davidson dealership as a technician. Harley-Davidson training. The sky's the limit. Be on national TV. To our beautiful Kent County. Come ride or visit for a great cause. The first annual Biker TV Victorian Order of Nurses Poker Run. Today was a lot nicer, it was raining, the temperature was a, li a little bit higher so it wasn't freezing, so it was a bit easier to go down the road. Uh, today we left the rail yard in Welland uh, with the towers. I followed the top section out to Dunville and I helped them around all the corners in Dunville. And then as all the, the other tower components came through Dunville, I helped them all around the corner and made sure all the signs and stuff like that were back up. We have cops every day, uh, OPP, come down and escort us just to help us uh, control traffic and corners and stuff. Uh, this site will be 56 wind towers in total. Some are on auto steer, the rest, yeah, you unpin it, you steer it. You just deal with every situation as it comes up, whether it be cars, people. I mean, it's always a new adventure, even if you've done the same route 10 times. There's not 10 identical trips. I mean, you've seen this morning with the fog and yesterday with the snow. And in the summer, you're running, it's 120 degrees, blowing tires, uh, sinking into the asphalt. There's always something to worry about. And it just, to me, it's better than just driving down the road. I escort the oversized loads down the road and when the need arises, I steer them around the corners. He's steering, if he's got his eyeball somewhere it's not, I still gotta watch what he's doing back there. And same with he's watching where I'm going in case I've missed something. I mean, again, it comes down to just basic teamwork, I would say, is the biggest factor in this, and trusting the people you're with. When we come up to a corner that we can't steer, uh, we'll stop and fire up a pony motor, and that's just a steer motor. It's just a little Honda generator motor, I guess. And uh, you start that, you pull your steering pin, that holds the trailer when you're going down the road on auto steer. And then uh, you grab this remote here. It's just a four button remote. It's got on off, left and right. I'm in control completely of the back end of the trailer when we're on manual steer. When we're going down the road, I'm keeping an eye on traffic coming back at us, traffic behind me to make sure they don't pass when it's unsafe. When we're going around corners, I'm looking at signs, hydro poles, uh, trees, anything that can get in the way or scratch the tower section or whatever else we're hauling down the road that's oversized. Just anything that'll damage the load or make it unsafe for us to keep going. It's a lot of work for nine guys today, but we all work together and our main goal is to get the job done safely and without any damages to the tower section, so that's what we do.
driver has to rely on his on his steerman a lot. You know, because of the the size of these pieces of equipment, it's usually pretty difficult for the driver to see what's going on at the at the back of the load. There's also other other variables such as you know humps in the road or tracks, bridges, stuff like that. It's pretty easy to scratch the underside of one of these towers, right? And that's that's where that trust comes in. You have to you have to trust your steerman to be looking out for you. Right, so that uh, so you can get around corners without any damage. We do a, a, a short safety meeting in the morning with the driver, the escorts, as well as the officers that accompany the loads. We also use two-way radios for communication. We have our own channels. Um, this allows us to not interrupt others as well as others not interrupting us while we're trying to communicate between driver and steerman. Call us, email us, like us on Facebook. Send us a picture of your truck and it may end up on national television. Your feedback is important to us. We all take pride in our rides. Call us, email us, like us on Facebook. Next week on Trucker Television. Rig of the Week, an 04 Western Star, the world's longest truck convoy for Special Olympics. We meet trucking legend Peter O'Brien and some cool rigs at the Fergus Truck Show.